everyone. Welcome back to Good Morning Sri Lanka. Now, I did promise a very special interview talking about the V Awards. And in studio with me, I have a Fadil Bakir Maka. He is a national coordinator for IYV Plus 10 and, and uh, UN, UN volunteers, of yes. course. Welcome on the show. Good morning. Good morning. Um, now you're here to talk to us about the V Awards. It's very, it's a very important awards uh, for the volunteers of Sri Lanka. Could you tell us a little bit about why it's so important? Why is uh, this year so important for the volunteers of Sri Lanka? Uh, two reasons. Mm -hmm. Let me start. First, what you asked me, why this year is important. It's the International Year of Volunteers Plus 10. That's the 10th anniversary of the IYV International Year of Volunteers, which was held in 2001. So this year we are sort of tasked with four things, four pillars, to recognize, promote, facilitate, and network volunteerism in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. And We Awards is special because it's happening this year, and We Awards is also special because it's the first time that Sri Lanka is having such an award ceremony mm -hmm. to honor volunteers, to recognize volunteers, and to say thank you to the people who serve their community, the people around them, without expecting anything in return. Mm -hmm. So since there is no such award ceremony, no such initiative in Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka this is the first time. And during a, such an year, I think uh, the awards is a special program. And uh, there has been quite a lot of build-up until the event that took place on the 5th of December. Of and it was quite a, a groundbreaking event as well. Yes, so um, in the aftermath of it, of course, it's a chance for you to take a look at it. But uh, tell me about uh, the organizers of this event and what went into the production of the V Awards, which took place. It's still not done. There's yes, still yes. a lot more happening. Yes, so we're at the halfway point, you can say. We mm -hmm. have one big more, one event to do, big event uh, for the 21st of January. The organizers are uh, twofold. The News First, one partner organization, and the IYV Plus 10 National Steering Committee. Mm -hmm. So within the steering committee, we have uh, nine partners. Plus recently, we included the 10th partner. So starting with UN uh, volunteers, mm -hmm. the UNV, United Nations Development Program, the Ministry of Social Services, you have the National Youth Services Council, Volunteer Service Overseas, a UK-based volunteer involving organization. You have mm -hmm. Sarwo there. You have Chamber of Commerce. Recently, we included uh, Sarwo there, and of course, MTV, NBC, mm -hmm. they're also part of uh, IYV Plus 10. And there was a lot that went to, into producing what we produced for the 5th of December. I think the viewers can see the show uh, in jan early January, uh, so we are going to show that on TV. And uh, there was a big team behind the show. So when, when I think the introduction you mentioned, two organizers, Shamir and myself, like, mm -hmm. not really. There were hundreds behind, and their commitment was really uh, great. There was a secretariat appointed just for the V Awards, wasn't there? Yes, there was. There is a V Award secretariat. We handle the mm -hmm. phone calls. We handle the coordination with the judges. We handle the coordination with the applicants, like the nominees and the nominators. We handle queries with the press side, the print mm -hmm. press, print print media. So the V Award secretariat is ba based at the UNV uh, office mm -hmm. uh, in the UN compound here in Colombo. And there's a huge team behind that as well. We have teams working on the media side, teams working on the judges' side. So I'll take this opportunity to remember everyone uh, <laughs> at the V Awards Secretariat and thank them for their work. Yeah. Now, the V Awards itself is an award uh, for volunteers of Sri Lanka and, uh, for, and, and a chance for people to commend all the efforts that they have given. What are the goals of having an award ceremony such as this other than that? The, there's a big goal. We mm -hmm. have one out underlying objective that we want to achieve. That is to inspire more people to volunteer. Mm -hmm. Because we see these people as role models of our society, volunteer heroes, you can call them. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at the stories, um, it's just unbelievable. And you know, it's very striking how they take time out of their busy schedules mm -hmm. to really go out there, f identify needs. You know, people they find uh, who I need, communities who I need mm -hmm. and they deliver and they find time to care and you know they bring smiles on the different people's uh, faces and this joy the satisfaction that they get is sometimes not recognized mm -hmm. so we want to recognize them but also show these guys as role models and say hey why, why don't you volunteer mm -hmm. go volunteer so as you rightly said it's about inspiring a nation to volunteer I see. And um, how did you go about actually finding these volunteers? Because some of them, I bet most volunteers are not the type that they would actually do it for a media presence or to be shown I am volunteering type of situation. So how did you find these people? 
hard process. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of thought through uh, because we decided on the VIA Awards project in June, then we advertised, and a lot of time was given for people to apply. Mm -hmm. When I say apply, it was a nomination process. Say you're a volunteer, mm -hmm. you can't nominate yourself. Someone else who benefited from your work, mm -hmm. who knows your work, have to nominate. So a lot of publicity had to be given. Mm -hmm. We used the press. News First came on board and supported us uh, through their channels. Mm -hmm. News First, uh, you know, news clips throughout in Singular English and Tamil. That helped. We used our provincial coordinators, IWB Plus and provincial coordinators, friends, colleagues, social media, everything to reach out mm -hmm. and say, have you benefited? Do you know uh, these kind of people, individuals? You know, mm -hmm. in Singlish they say, Uttama Minsu. You know, these wonderful people. You know, honorable people, do you mm -hmm. know these guys? Nominate. So it was a very difficult process because, as you correctly said again, mm -hmm. it's hard. They won't come out. Because mm -hmm. we've had cases where they've applied, someone has nominated, and they've withdrawn because they don't want to come out. Mm -hmm. But we salute these individuals who've come out because we can ensure that more people will get inspired mm -hmm. by looking at the stories of these volunteers. There would be like examples that you can follow. Yes, definitely role models. So there are certain attributes, on to, to pick one finalist is going to be very, very difficult, but the judges have narrowed it down to 15. So what are the attributes that they're looking at? I mean, that would be very difficult. Of course. Yeah. I don't think, uh, I really can't say how, what the judges go through, mm -hmm. because it's, these are all amazing people. In my eyes, every single person who was nominated mm -hmm. and every single volunteer is a hero in my eyes because they're great and for judges when they selected I think they went through a very strict criteria mm -hmm. but the attributes wise they looked at the spirit of volunteering you know the commitment the innovative nature they also would have looked at uh, delivering something what the community needs and I think these kind of attributes really play a role and obviously the sustainability of their work how long term you know mm -hmm. the commitment that also fits in so it's not easy to pick a volunteer, but I think when it's an award ceremony, there will obviously be shortlisting and uh, further shortlisting, and we reach the 15 finalists. Mm -hmm. And in tw on the 21st of January, we will award the ultimate volunteer. I see. Now, uh, the judges, we've, we've uh, talked about them a little bit before, but a little bit more in depth. Who will be doing the judging, and um, how? Because it is a tough decision. Yes. To we, we, that so was also a process yes. to f identify and get impartial, uh, independent judges with a lot of integrity and respect who are respectable in the society. So we've got uh, Mr. Chandra Jayaratna, mm -hmm. former Secretary General of the Sloan Chamber of Commerce. We've got Dr. Vinyari Ratna, General Secretary of the Sarvode Movement. Mm -hmm. We've got Jasima Ismail Deshbandu, Mrs. Jasima Ismail, a human rights activist. We've got Professor Soma Sundaram, mm -hmm. Sandra Sekharan from the Colombo University, and also we've got uh, Mrs. Sunet Rambandan Nayaka. She's the founder of the Sunera Foundation. Mm -hmm. Also, we have Professor Siri Hetigay as an ex officio member from the IYV Plus 10 National Supreme Chairing Committee. It's just a hard process, but I think their integrity, where they are, the respectable individuals, mm -hmm. they show how impartial and uh, independent that they can be. And we wanted the judging panel like that because they'll bring the diverse opinions because mm -hmm. they've all worked in different areas in terms of volunteering. I see. Now, uh, as you said, we are in the midway point, <laughs> halfway between, yeah. uh, you know, beginning the event and the event to finish. Now, there was a big bash on the, uh, on the 5th of December. It was uh, a groundbreaking event, literally. And uh, yeah, you must have a lot of things in the works for the one that's coming up next in January. Yes, a um, lot of tension, <laughs> excitement, <laughs> nervous, I think, because we pulled off a really great event with the help of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, the National Steering Committee, News First team, the members of the Talent Factory who helped us with the production, and uh, also the volunteer force, the V-Force. So now thinking about 21st, we want ideas. Mm -hmm. We have big ideas. We want more because, you know, matching something great yeah. is not easy. And to top it, it's going to be very difficult. So the challenge is definitely a good thing. Yeah, we've <laughs> taken up on the challenge and uh, we will deliver because these guys deserve it. The volunteers, the 15 finalists deserve a big show on the 21st. So we will do it. Now this particular year has been very important for volunteers, as you said, because? 
because it's the 10th anniversary of the International Year of Volunteers. In 2001, the United Nations, uh, with a lot of stakeholders, globally declared 2001 as the International Year of Volunteers. Mm -hmm. And a decade on, around, uh, say, 2008, they saw a lot of potential, a lot of ground that volunteerism has gained. So they said, why not celebrate the 10th anniversary? So a decade on, we're celebrating the 10th anniversary. This year is very crucial because not just in Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. around many countries around the globe, they're all celebrating IYP Plus 10. They're all marking. They're bringing volunteerism into the map. Mm -hmm. They're bringing it into the forefront. And as I said earlier, recognition, facilitation, promotion, and networking. These are the four pillars. Mm -hmm. To achieve these four pillars, we've done many things. But I think We Awards is our mega event, the flagship project, because we believe We Awards will recognize people and also promote network and facilitate. It'll do everything for us in one go. Mm -hmm. and, uh, this year is going to mark something big, and I think we award to make history in Sri Lanka. It's already halfway there, actually, from what I hear of the award <laughs> ceremony that was already taking place. Would you think that this would become an annual event? Could it become an annual event? At annual or every two years, it's, it's a great program to do because mm -hmm. there's a lot of other volunteers. I think this is inspired, and this will inspire more people to do. And I think it has, become, it has to become a norm where we start saying thank you to people mm -hmm. who do amazing things for our society and our people. And if you look at the clips and what we have, these stories, you will see that you know these volunteers are doing without expecting anything in return. So this thank you should become annual, mm -hmm. or actually should become daily thank you. Mm -hmm. It not, should not end with one show that we do every year or every two years. Yes. It should become a daily routine where we see someone and say, Thank you for doing this for us. Yeah. Talk, could you tell, talk a little bit about the attributes that went into these, uh, these competitors? Were there any particular com competitor, uh, I'm sorry, finalists of this mm. event uh, that you could talk about? I can uh, talk about, as you can see now, the ca I want to nominate nominee, mm -hmm. Mr. Damita Seneca Karunaratna, founder of the Kosala Dullava Foundation. Uh, this is just to say a, a little bit about he works with uh, children with special needs. Mm -hmm. He's giving hope to these individuals, these special kids, and telling them that they can be like every other kid because they are like every other kid. Mm -hmm. And you know, giving them the same opportunities, giving them the same opportunities to do better and uh, meet everyone. And this is one story. There's 14 others in the finals. And mm -hmm. one another story I can tell you is Mr. T. H. Heen Banda from Andhra. He's not a man of medicine himself, but you know, we call the Vedam Hatta, he's a supporter, he's a helper. He helps and it's not his job, mm -hmm. but he does it part-time, volunteer. He grows uh, medicinal plants in his uh, yard, front yard. Mm -hmm. He grows them, he goes to the jungle, the forest, finds these plants. He does the whole entire thing, mix them, the grind everything and provide them free of charge. Just when I asked him why, he says it's because of satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And this is not to just narrow these two down, but to sh show that these are some of the stories. There's many more. Mm -hmm. There are 13 more other finalists, and they're amazing the same way these guys are. They all have a different story. Mm -hmm. And viewers, the only request I can make is watch these stories. Get mm -hmm. yourself inspired and inspire more. Thank you so much for joining me, Farid. Unfortunately, we're at the end <laughs> of our interview, but it's definitely inspiring to hear. And I look forward to seeing the VO Awards and the way it concludes. It's going to be very tough, actually, trying to narrow it down, but definitely Thank you something. A lot of sense. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining. Okay. okay, guys, so we're going to take a little bit of a break. I'll see you guys on the other side with Rai and a lot more. Good morning, Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm.